hello hello welcome into rock painting 101 it is father's day themed week for 52 rocks and so we're gonna do a fun little tie because you know dads get lots of ties for father's day and maybe this tie can be a little bit different they don't have to hang another one in their closet they can set this one on their desk it'd make a cute little paperweight um, this is one that you can do with your kids and you can definitely theme it based on what the dad in your life um, likes. So, little challenge for those uh, joining in. I'm gonna wait until we're on a little bit, um, or I'll just mention it again later, but this is for my husband. And for those joining in, you can guess what state maybe he's from based on his color. So, we're gonna dive right in and just start on the outline for our tie, our necktie here. So, you're just gonna start I put my phone in opposite, I've done that before. I'll try to make sure I pay attention. Um, you're gonna start by creating a rounded off bottom triangle. So we're just gonna start with our line across the top and then we're just gonna have curved corners. They're not gonna be super sharp. And I always like to put my bottom in first like so, so you don't accidentally make a big point. And then we're gonna connect those lines together and it's okay if this isn't perfect because we're gonna fill in our tie and then we'll crisp up our outlines when we're done. Now there's lots of different shapes to neckties. Some of them are really long and skinny. Some of them have that big, bigger bottom to them. Um, just based on what I want for my design, I'm gonna have a little bit of a widening like so. And like I said, I'm just kind of sketching it on because we're gonna fill it all in. And then I'm gonna kind of round and come to the tip, like one of those really fat, wide bottom ties, because I wanna put a specific design in this one. So once you have your tie shape, that bottom's pretty big, so I'm gonna make the top a little bit bigger. We're gonna add on our neckline as well. So to do that, the neck kind of goes right into the top of the, sh or the top of the tie, not too far in, just right inside like so and you're just going to kind of extend out to about how big a, a neck would be in your in you know rock world here just a little bit and then kind of down and then you're going to bring it to a point and back up and try to make them as even as possible those don't look very even like I said, we're gonna fill this in later so you can kind of do one, kind of go back and forth till you like the way that they look, like so. And we've got a few more people in here, so I'm gonna mention this again. Okay, so I made this rock here for my husband and anybody from the state he's from will know what state he's from probably based on this rock because of the coloring of the tie. So if anybody has any guesses, leave them in the comments because I'm curious. I'm pretty sure if you've been there or you're from there, you're gonna know. So once you have your basic outline shape, we're gonna start coloring in. I'm using mostly the extra fine tips today. You could do the whole thing with the extra fine tips or a brush as well, but I am gonna fill in my tie to save some time with this bigger one, but you could do the whole thing without. So I'm gonna just go right along my edge, and that's why I told you you can sketch because you'll be able to go right over any of those sketch lines and fill in. Hello, we got Canada and Mexico in. Hi, Deb. Hi, Sheila. Both sides of North America. That's awesome. So I'm gonna go in like this. And I'm just gonna fill it in quickly here. Not gonna go with quite as intricate of a design as the one that I did before, so I don't have you on here too long. I just want to give you the basic shape and idea because they're pretty fun. And you definitely want to customize this from for what what your dad's into. You could make it a golfing tie or a fishing tie. Anything along those lines. So we're going to let that dry a little bit. So I'm just going to take some white and fill this in though I'll help clean up my lines on this. Um, if you if your fathers don't wear ties and you're looking for other ideas, um, if you head to the page on Rock Painting 101 and you go to the 52 Rocks prompt picture for the week, 
there's loads and loads of other ideas for you if you need some other inspiration. So that's the best thing about rocks. There's unlimited ideas out there of what you could do. So we've got that. I'm gonna make sure my blue is dry. And I told you I'm keeping this design. It's gonna be super simple for this one just because I won't be in or on that long. So I'm gonna hold it where I think you guys can see here. And we're just gonna add a really simple number one to add on that tie, just like that. And you could go in with that light color and add an outline. I might actually outline the tie with this light color just to pull it in a little bit more than just in the base. So there we go. It's pretty simple there. And you know what's funny, I put that blue around there, but I think I like the black and blue. Lily, you caught me live and I'm almost done. <laughs> um, it's, you know, I did that and now I don't know if I like that, guys. I might go back with the black again. <laughs> it's one of those things where it's, when you're live, you never know what things are gonna look like. So I think the black outline looks better just because the outline of the shirt is black. Oh, I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna do a black outline. I think I might keep the blue, but add the black edge as well. And we'll see you all soon. Bye.